you have an upcoming SPAR exam and you're curious how it works, let's talk about it. My name is Jeline and in this video, I'll show you exactly how does this SPAR assessment look like, what to expect, and some tips on how to raise it, okay? So, SPAR assessment may vary depending on the center that you're applying for. And recently, the SPAR assessments that I took were split into four sections. Section A, read and speak. Section B, listen and repeat. Section C, listen and comprehension. And Section D, free speech. So uh, SVR is an automated English test that measures your fluency, pronunciation, active listening, and spoken English understanding. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and jump right in and talk about the easiest part of the assessment. Section A, read and speak. So in this section, you'll see sentences displayed on your screen. You'll just have to read the given sentences out loud, loud and clear, okay? And then the test will automatically move ahead after you speak each sentence. By the way, you'll see a speak now icon that serves as your cue that you can then begin speaking. Below the speak now icon, you'll see the remaining time before it jumps to the next sentence. Just in case you're done reading the sentence before the given time, you can then click the submit answer option at the lower right part of the screen to immediately move to the next sentence. Let's look at these actual samples. Please read out sentence one. Would you like to start your free trial today? Please read out sentence two. Please don't ask me about the issues because I'm not allowed to speak about them. Please read out sentence 3. Do the agent ask for your credit card number? Please read out sentence 4. Please let me know if there are job opportunities in this field. Please read out sentence 5. He's a quick learner, but he needs to be more confident about his work. Please read out sentence 6. Please translate the text into other languages. Please read out sentence 7. I read the message, but forgot to respond to it. Please read out sentence 8. Did you invite him to the workshop? Please read out sentence 9. All the employees like his fancy car. Please read out sentence 10. Don't disclose this to your colleagues. Please read out sentence 11. How long will it take for my loyalty points to get added to my account? Please read out sentence 12. Practicing yoga not only improves physical stamina but also enhances concentration and focus. Okay, so uh, that's it for section A. I know it's quite a lot, but as I mentioned, that's the easiest part of the assessment. Tip, speak like you're talking to a person on the phone. There's no need to speak too carefully or slowly. Just speak at a normal speed like you would during a conversation, okay? Relax and there's no need to rush. All right, so well, uh, let's move to section B. Listen and repeat. In this section, you'll have to listen carefully and repeat the sentence that you'll hear. Each sentence will be played once, and the test will automatically move ahead after you repeat each sentence. And, same as with section A, you may also click on Submit Answer to move ahead. Let's begin. Please keep the files in the red folder. Please keep the files in the red folder. Unfortunately, we are unable to locate your booking ID for the flight. Unfortunately, we are unable to locate your booking ID for the flight.
Did he inform his manager about the leave? Did he inform his manager about the leave? I don't have time to sit and eat. I don't have time to sit and eat. Give me the details of the tour and I'll confirm if I can join you. Give me the details of the tour and I'll confirm if I can join you. May I have your name, company name, email address, and phone number? May I have your name, company name, email address, and phone number? Be quiet and stay calm. Be quiet and stay calm. Sure, no problem. You may take your time. Sure, no problem. You may take your time. Repaying debt on time makes you trustworthy. Repaying debt on time makes you trustworthy. We give automatic boarding priority to list A customers. We give automatic boarding priority to list A customers. Okay, so we're done with section B. Now let's talk about section C, listening comprehension. In this section, you will hear a conversation followed by a set of questions. Each conversation will be played one time only. You may take notes as you listen. Each question has multiple answer options and you must choose the correct answer. Okay, let's begin. Hello, Tina. Is this a good time to talk? Hi, Mark. Yes, we can talk. How are you? I am fine but we are totally disappointed with the software your team developed. We've got another bug. This is the third bug this week. These things are badly affecting our workflow. Oh, could you please tell me what this latest bug is? When students register for online courses, they are unable to select their educational qualification from the drop-down list. The field is captured as null in every registration. This makes it impossible to ship the correct reading material to them. I am really sorry, Mark. My technical team will check this. I don't think you've tested the application thoroughly at all. This is really bad quality. I understand your frustration, Mark. I will ensure that you don't face any further issues with the software. Please set this right immediately and keep me updated. Of course, Mark. I will get the bug fixed and will keep you informed of the progress. Bye. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and answer the questions. Okay, so uh, question number one. What is Mark accusing the vendor of? Is it poor product quality, unethical behavior, incorrect billing, or not responding to emails? What's your answer? You may utilize the comment section below for your answers. Great. Poor product quality. All right. So, uh, next, what was Mark's tone during the conversation? Is it cheerful, animated, angry, or diplomatic? So, it's certainly not cheerful or animated, and I don't think it's uh, diplomatic because of the choice of words. Like when Mark said, we're totally disappointed with the software your team developed. We've got another bug. This is the third bug this week these things are badly affecting our workflow see it's it's so direct and the, towards the end of the conversation he said i don't think you've tested the application thoroughly at all this is really bad quality so to say that a tone is um diplomatic at least it should be more polite or accommodating so in this case i would say the tone is angry all right uh, next question how is the bug affecting Mark's work? Students cannot enter their age. Students cannot log onto the website. Students cannot complete the registration. Or students cannot enter their educational background. What's your answer? Great. Students cannot enter their educational background. All right, next. 
What should Tina's next step be? Is it to complain to Mark's manager? To rectify the bug? To revise the payment? Or to scrap the project? Of course, to rectify the bug. Next, what is the consequence of this bug? Customers are demanding refunds. Customers have filed a case. The company is facing losses or the company is unable to ship the right products. What's your answer? All right. The company is unable to ship the right products. Great. Okay, so uh, that's it for Section C. We'll go ahead and move to the last section, Section D, Free Speech. So in this section, you will be provided with a topic. You will have 30 seconds to think about the topic. You heard it right, guys, 30 seconds. And then 45 seconds to speak about it. You may take notes during preparation in order to structure your thoughts. You may begin speaking on the topic when you see the Speak Now message on the screen. Your topic is, describe the scene of a school playground. Your preparation time starts now. Start speaking on the topic now. The typical scene of a school playground are children that are constantly learning new things through playing, making new friends, sharing, taking turns, or interacting with other children. On school playgrounds, children have the space and freedom to engage in heart healthy activities that allows them to climb, jump, swing, and slide. You're also going to see children run around wildly while playing monsters and aliens or clamber around the, the playground equipment while pretending to be monkeys at the zoo, all while building strength and endurance. And it's also a great gathering spot to meet up with friends or make new acquaintances. <laughs> all right, uh, finally, we're done. So, how did you do? How do you find this VAR assessment? Let me know in the comments. And if you find this video useful, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. So, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye!